So here it is Tuesday, third day of July, and it's going to look and feel like it today after a little bit of a break through Sunday and Monday where it felt better. Now the dew points are back, the heat is going to build, and it's going to make it feel just like summertime. And that was a quick peek. Here's a look at what's happening with our temp 73. We've been to 74. That was the midnight temp, and that's as high as we've been. We have been as low as 72, so we're kind of wavering back and forth. And our dew points at 70. That was all the way down into the low 60s yesterday morning, but that's coming right back up again. To make it feel steamy, we have clouds down toward Wichita and getting down through western Oklahoma. Some moisture going through West Kansas, right up through Nebraska and the Dakotas. And there's going to be some big storms in Nebraska and across the Dakotas today. And much of that will move east across Iowa and also getting into Minnesota. Here's our heat advisory. It's all back for portions of Missouri and Kansas. It goes right out toward the western part. And if we're looking at Republican cloud counties now included in that. Uh, late yesterday and through the overnight, it was not, but this will run. From noon today through 8 p.m. Wednesday, and that's for heat index values of 100 to 105. Currently, we have some 70 degree temps. Now, yesterday morning, a couple of spots were trying to ease down into the upper 50s, so it's much warmer. 77 Junction City, Concordia at 74. We do have a few 60s up here towards Seneca and Hiawatha, Lawrence and Perry right now at 72. And a bigger picture puts Springfield at 78, Tulsa's at 78, Pittsburgh and Chanute at 76. Wichita also in the upper 70s, but notice not much cooler working toward the north with mid 70s going all the way from Hastings up toward Pierce, South Dakota, down just a smidgen out toward Goodland with a couple of showers and more cloud cover there. But we're going to be warm, we're going to be muggy, and that's going to take us right through Wednesday into Thursday before showers and thunderstorms can break this down. Looking at our future track temps, this morning we should be in the mid and upper 70s very quickly, going to roughly 97 in Topeka. It could be one to three degrees higher. Higher out here toward Manhattan, Fort Riley, getting into Abilene, and mainly some low to mid 90s up there in the northeast corner with mid 90s in Ottawa and also the Burlington area through the overnight, trying to ease it on down to the mid 70s, and then tomorrow right back up into some mid 90s. It looks like for much of Shawnee County toward Lawrence and Kansas City, and primarily upper 90s in Manhattan and Abilene, but it will be a very slow cool off for fireworks displays, meaning that around 10 p.m. on Wednesday night, it could still be 84 to 86, so it's still going to be really warm and a tad breezy. Today in Manhattan, a 98 high, south wind at 15 to 25. You have almost every summer element thrown in. You have the heat, you've got the breeze, you're going to have the mugginess. Emporia, 96, southeast wind at 15 to 25, and around Topeka, even even low 90s yesterday, but we're going to shoot for mid and upper 90s today. It will be a hot, humid day with dew points likely at 70 or higher, making that heat index 100 to 105 and not cooling down into the early morning. All night long, we're trying to release that heat back up into space, and it's a very gradual process, and that goes all the way until about 7 or 7.30 each morning when we bottom out in these low to mid 70s. Tomorrow, 96 the high, but that is very summer-like for a summer celebration. Picnics, parades, make sure that you're staying hydrated all day and that you're using sunscreen, perhaps a hat to keep that sun off of you. And then we get into shower and thunderstorm chances Thursday into Friday, a bit higher overnight Thursday into Friday morning. And then once that's gone, I think things ease just a little bit. A 90-degree high on Saturday after starting at 70 degrees. We get into Sunday, a high of 92. And then by Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're right back at it with some mid and upper 90s. Now yesterday we were talking about a little poll to put on about mustard and ketchup on hot dogs. I've tallied up those numbers and I'll share those with you in the next hour.